Uh, he was wearing the 12s the other day. Now he's got the 11s on looking sharp. And here we go. Enough of the fashion talk. Let's play some football. And Baldwin takes it out to the 26-yard line. And that's where the man from Seattle will wear the Seattle Seahawks uniforms, and he'll take over. Yeah, interestingly enough, when you take a look at the number of games that Kiv played, he only played 64 total games, winning 84% of those games. So the last majority of his wins, but another one of those guys, just like Shuggs we saw yesterday, didn't play a ton of games to get here. A little handoff to the former Crimson Tide, Derrick Henry. And he'll gain one yard. Yeah, and, and defensively, you see Hollywood in a new look defense from what we saw him at the Madden Bowl. He said he did that to prepare for the Madden Challenge. Yeah, made a lot of changes just to get ready for draft champions. So both these guys are here to win. It's a top 10 matchup. Second and nine. Luck. Just gets rid of it. Yeah, it's great. That's Aaron Rodgers. That was a great little blitz off that edge. He dropped his entire weak side of his defensive line on the left side of the field, and then he brought a delayed blitz from the corner spot. That's a beautiful design play right there from Hollywood. And we got Kiv versus Hollywood. You got Aaron Rodgers versus Andrew Luck. It's going to be a good one. Settle in. Third and nine. Ball at the 27 now. Rodgers. And it. Nice find out to midfield. Good job throwing it in the defense to Jerry Rice. Yeah, perfect timing right here. He throws the ball. He goes for the possession catch. That, for those of you new at home, all you got to do is hit the A button on that. The multiple catch option is Madden 17. I'm X for days, bro. I'm, I'm racking. You're greedy. For You're greedy. I am greedy. Ball at the 50, first and 10 for Young Kiff. Got to get rid of it, can't. And there's a sack coming off the edge, second and 15. Yeah, and once again, the delay blitz off the edge. What you're going to see, how he's getting this pressure. He's blitzing that defender out wide, and then in the interior, he will rush these two defensive linemen, and then he will drop the rest of these defenders back into coverage. Right, Great recognition right here from Kibb. He's going to keep the uh, halfback Henry in the block to pick up some of that pressure if it's coming off the right edge. So second and 15, ball at the 45. Got Henry in the backfield alongside Rodgers. Picks it up. Has time. And Trey Waynes, boy, I've seen him make some big plays, not only in this tournament, but all year long in his third and 19. I'll tell you what, he, he initially picked up the pressure, but Trey Waynes, once the halfback released into the flat, Trey Waynes just pursued the quarterback. Sack, lunch, sandwich. So a big third and forever, and he's got a man! It couldn't get his feet inbound. No, Dougie Baldwin, not like this. That's a tough one right there for Kiv. He had a receiver open right here. He can go for the possession catch. Dougie Baldwin, one foot, two foot, no. Heartbreak City for the Kiv man, and he's going to go for a punt early on in this one. So fourth and 19, and I'm beginning to think it's me and you. It's I one of we us. I bringing the noise. It's, it's, it's one of us. No, it's, it's me. I'll say it's me. I'll take the blame. You do eat Cobb salad while I'm, I'm, I'm busy eating ribeyes. Tomato, you get balsamic vinaigrette on there. You substitute it out for the blue cheese rather than a, a ranch dressing as well. No one wants to hear about it. Start a podcast or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired of the Cobb salad. <laughs> First and ten from the seven. Nice punt. So now Hollywood's got some work to do. Yeah, and Hollywood gets an opportunity here to put together a drive himself. He moved from a compressed passing offense from our Madden Bowl. Uh, we call that a gun-tight offense, uh, what we had in the Madden Bowl, for those of you new to the game. And now he wants to run a more of a gun-bunch-style offense uh, you'll see here later in this drive. Hands it off to Gurley. And an interesting thing about Gurley, I was talking with my main man, Zan, who's out here in Los Angeles with us, one of the great community members, and he said he came down to that final pick, did not have a halfback he loved, and there is... Oh, Todd Gurley waiting right for him in that last round. Yeah, he started off right with Gurley, give him the ball. He's a back that can do just about everything. Catch the pass out of the backfield. He can run in between the tackles. Has enough speed to break away from the defense. Second and eight and a nine. Really backed up here. We'll go to Gurley. 
And a big time hit, so we're scoreless here. What's going on in the other game there, Sar? Thank you, Scott. Volterax opened up the game with his first possession, found David Johnson, threw some balls downfield, but punched it in 7-0. He leads over Kerry Q. Well, Volt, that's a guy we're interested in seeing a little bit later. He's looking good thus far. And a third and six, and there is Terrell Pryor to pick up the first down. And a big shout out to Farrell today, just keeping us all connected. Crushing the red zone style over He's there. Killing it. Fantastic. Absolutely killing it. Hands it off to Gurley. And Gurley will get to the 22. So three carries for six yards, but Hollywood being true to staying balanced. Yeah, and take a look at the defense from Kiv. This defender, that's the key guy that's going to be bringing pressure off the edge right there. This defender here, he comes off the edge. That's the uh, defender who's going to generate pressure for Kiv's defense. Second and eight, got a running lane here to the 28. And so now third and three. Hollywood looking good. Yeah, Hollywood moving the ball. He's, he's completed a couple passes under pressure. He's run the ball well, getting himself manageable third down. Watch for the quick drag. He yeah, has McCaffrey in the slot. He's going to throw it outside to Gurley, who breaks a tackle. And another one! Get off of me to the 45. Wow, Todd Gurley looking like his rookie year from that run right there. You can see a quick pass out in the flat. Get him to a stiff arm. Then a big time truck right to right there. Up down the field he goes. Todd Gurley. That's a grown man. I'm 40. And Gurley rumbles to the 47. The former Georgia Bulldog looking tough here in the first quarter. And Hollywood talking to him pregame. He said the halfback draw is going to be something that works really effective for him here. You can see the difference right here early on this one. 13 yards on the ground for Hollywood already. A little motion for Pryor. He's got McCaffrey to the left. And he'll go back to the run? Question mark? Yeah, it looks like he got a bad handoff potentially there. He stalled in the backfield. Maybe stick work was not working for him in that situation. But now third and long spot. He's going to have to air it out. A lot of times in these spots, you go to those deep posts over the middle of the field. You want to try and target the deep sideline, the deep corner pattern. So a lot of different routes downfield tacking vertically on this play here for Hollywood. It's almost like, you know, you can let the computer run for you a little bit. But that was a read option. So once you hand it off, you're... That doesn't work. And McCaffrey with an absolute brilliant gem of a catch. Okay. <laughs> and John Kim's like, oh, uh, okay, bro. Yeah, the number one rule, you never throw late in the flat. Usually bad things will happen. But in that case there, that worked out for Hollywood. Kiv not happy, shaking his head there. Going to need to be, stay composed in this one. Don't want to lose your composure early on going against Hollywood. So we move to the second quarter in this top ten matchup. Hollywood is number eight. Young Kiv number nine. Jockeying for position with the championships just weeks away. Gurley. Gurley could be a problem right now. Okay, he's really starting to take the tempo of this game right here. I mean, we've seen him uh, not only just run the ball in the interior part of the field, but that big time play on the sideline, catching the pass out of the backfield. Let's keep getting the ball in his hands here if you're Hollywood. Running it 70% of the time right now. And back to it, why not? You could drive a truck through there. That'll be down to the 32. Take out your keys. He's on a drive. Yeah, and what you're seeing is uh, this defense you're you're getting from Kib as he checks down. Good adjustment. Now he's in a more uh, run-oriented defense. And he goes to the pass. So Hollywood in a nice comeback route to Pryor, who spins down to the eight-yard line. Hollywood. He's a young man. But he's looking way past his years. That little cat and mouse right there. You can see Kiv adjusts his defense. He goes to a 3-4 set. That literally represents putting four linebackers on the field, three defensive linemen. In that case, Hollywood passes the ball, takes advantage of the less speed. We're in the red zone. Todd Gurley, get out of my way to the one-yard line. I, I absolutely thought he was going to truck him for a score. Yeah, I mean, he had one truck, not two trucks, but then... <laughs> Didn't fall forward. That's your job there, Mr. Gurley. But now, ball in the one. Quarterback sneaks. Halfback power O's in these spots. Usually the popular way to get in the end zone with the ball in the one. Well, I know what Pete Carroll would do here. What would you do, Gibbs? He would probably throw the ball to Malcolm Butler for a Super Bowl victory. For the and he's going to toss it to the outside. And catch me outside. How about that? <laughs> I don't know how about that. How about that? That's exactly mm. right. But right there, Cy of disappointment right there for Kiv. He's probably still thinking about that flat pass. Missed opportunity uh, play early on that drive. But look at that, 14 plays. 92 yards for Hollywood as he punches in here. Todd Gurley for six. He took away a majority of the clock here in this first half, and he's got to 
7-0 lead over Kiv. And an interesting play on the first drive for Kiv was that pass to Doug Baldwin where he couldn't get two feet in. That really killed the drive. Yeah, and he had the, the downfield routes that he needed to flood the defense. He vertically attacked the field. He just wasn't able to get his feet in bounds for the conversion. Shotgun formation here on first and ten. Kiv going to work. Second possession of the game. Picks up the blitz, and this time finds his man down at the 49, so he's on the move. We're going to take a game break with Zach Farrells. Thank you very much, Scott. We've got a live look coming up in this one. Volterac started out 7-0, as you guys were able to see, but Kerry drove down, and even though he threw a turnover, he got the ball back, and now you see it. 7-3 in this one, looking good for Volterax early. He's got the ball and he is on the march, Scott. We're gonna send it back over to you and Gibbs. I appreciate you letting know, know what's going on in that another game right here. We got Kiv on the move still. 3-12 left in the half. Shotgun formation. And he'll go to Derrick Henry. I tell you what, Gibbs, we got two powerful backs in this one. Yeah, Derrick Henry, one of the better big backs in the game, one of the fan favorite out in the Madden community for good reason. He's got a little bit of speed, but he also falls forward typically. And right now you can see the difference in the run game here between Kiv and Hollywood. Hollywood really starting to dominate on the ground. Second and three. And you can't, you, you, you got time, but you don't have forever. Yeah, and he got hung up right there in the pocket on, a, on an offensive lineman there, never really was able to get into rhythm. Looked like he wanted to scramble there with his quarterback to try and pick up the first down. Third and five at the 32. Brought his safety up. He brought his safety up right there. Watch out for that. Maybe a deep pass down the middle of the field here. Kim's going to make some adjustments. So many defenders down in the box here on third and five. And that will not do it. You'll actually... Lose two yards, so now it's fourth and six, and you got to take the points. And that big 51 yarder that finds its way true, and Kiv gets himself on the board. It's important for him to get points on that drive there, especially after the drive we just saw from Hollywood that 14 play, 92 yards, just eating up all that clock here. Looks to put another one together here with two minutes and 19 seconds remaining here in this uh, first half. So Hollywood brings it out to the 22. Big time drive and coming with 2.15. Remaining in the second, uh, the second quarter. Take a look right here. Kiv still in that 3-4, so he's recognizing run first right now from Hollywood. Double tied in. A lot of running room off the left edge. And Luck hands it off to Gurley. And Gurley spins to the 26. Right now he's very content with a running game. No, so actually a little missed call there. It does appear to be that uh, uh, Kiv was in uh, more of a dollar style set on that last possession. But listen, when you start to get some of those big uh, linebackers on the field, that can help you in stopping some of the runs here uh, for, uh, for Kiv's defense. So a two-minute warning before the half. Hollywood leading by four with the ball. Second and six. Play clock is running down. And he'll use a timeout. Wasn't comfortable with what he had dialed up. Hey, I mean, second and six. You could go downfield. You can stick to the ground game. You always like to get in these manageable Third, uh, third and short spots. Right now, second and six. Uh, attack downfield. Play action passes. We've been seeing seam passes are, are very popular against a lot of these cover two style defenses. So guys like Green, you throw the ball up the seam into him here. That's a great way to attack uh, a, a too high safety look. So ball at the 26 and the second and six. Two minutes to go. In the second quarter. And Curley somehow got past the run blitz. Yeah. <laughs> He evaded that middle linebacker there with a little stick to the right. Kiv felt like he had a, de a defender right in perfect position. So bunch to the right. Prior in motion. Play action to Gurley. And Andrew Luck will just throw it away. Smart 
play by Hollywood. I like the play action tempo there, though. You've been running the ball very well. Get the ball, play fake, talk early, try to catch Kiv off guard. Second and 10 at the 38. 137 left to go in the half. And here's another audible from Andrew Luck. Yeah, Kiv going to have to change the defense up now. And Luck will throw it toward the sideline, but just a bit late. And it'll remain third and ten. Yeah, both players right now, a couple inaccurate throws. I mean, the, the ball delivered it in, in a good area, but just uh, these outside receivers not able to get their feet in near the sideline. Starting to become a, a consistent theme this one. You saw it with Kiv and, and one of his drives, and now you see it here with Hollywood. So big third down coming up for Hollywood. Andrew Luck has a man in the flats, and there's Gurley. He's got a lot of green in front of him. And he'll get out of bounds at the 46, and I'll stop the clock with 1.27 to go. Great patience right there from Hollywood on the offensive side of the ball. Pressure was coming off the left edge. He waited, he waited, and then he finally released the ball to his halfback. That was the check down route, but it resulted in the big first down. Hollywood right now looks very comfortable facing the pressure. Back to Gurley. Up the middle, and it's another first down, and Todd Gurley is all of a sudden taking over this game. Yeah, great balance on the outside of the ball right now for Hollywood. He's running the ball, he's passing, living primarily with these check down routes underneath because that's gonna force Kiv to play a little bit more of aggressive style defense on that previous play. You saw more of a run style uh, a defense. That's going to open up the deep pass behind it. Well, we got one minute to go in the half. Hollywood with the lead and the ball. Gurley, and this time, Able to wrap it up. We got a timeout here in a four point game. What's going on in the second game? Scott, big plays from Kerry Q, the run game. Adrian Peterson's done it all day. He punches one in. He's up 10 7 over Volt. Appreciate that, Mr. Farrells. Second and eight here. Well, if you can get a score before the half, uh -oh. could be huge. And Green has got some room. And he's inside the 15 to the 14-yard line. Clock is moving. I'll tell you what, we had a streaking receiver down the left seam that he missed at a wide open oh, yeah. touchdown. You saw it too there, but uh, I mean, it still gets the, the big conversion there with the underneath pattern, but had a, a wide open receiver for the touchdown. So clock moving, 38 seconds to go in the half. And he'll go back to the run. He does have one timeout and Kiv will use one of his own. Extremely difficult to score in this part of the field. We, the red zone area, the red area, uh, the field is condensed. The game now becomes more of a horizontal approach rather than a vertical approach. Very difficult to pass in this part of the field. These two heavyweights, top 10 matchup, filling each other out here in the first half, and it's Hollywood that's got a little bit of the best of number nine Kiv. Yeah, and in this spot here, a great way to attack in this red zone area, get the ball up to your big receivers in the back of the end zone. There is a mechanic in the game. For those of you new to Madden 17, it's called uh, a high point passing. It was introduced last season. You're able to get the ball up to your big receivers. It's a great strategy for you to use at home to try and improve, to get on the level of these guys. It'll help you instantly in the red zone for watching at home. Yeah, the high point is great in the red zone, but you can also go low, uh, you especially, can, yeah. especially on a, a slant route. Get it away from those linebackers. It, it's a, it can work really well for you sometimes as well. Third and seven from the 11. Bunch to the right. Big time play for Hollywood. Right now, Kim's got to lock it up. And it's a fumble. It's on the ground. And it's going to be scooped. And Griffin with the strip and the recovery. Huge play for Kiv. Yeah, you can see right here, block shed against the offensive line. Everson Griffin, one of the top five players for Kiv's defense here. He gets the big sack fumble. Kiv in business. Now 24 seconds, no timeouts. You can't turn the ball over yourself here either. Trailing by four. Watch this defender here. He's typically the guy who's blitzing. Now he's going to flip the defense, try to catch Hollywood off guard, make Hollywood have to adjust his defense. Cat and mouse right there. Rodgers going to work. Looking downfield, has a man! Oh. And Baldwin will take it to the house! Phenomenal pocket presence right there from young Kiv. He hangs in the pocket. You're going to see the Hollywood user play. He 
drops to the underneath post. Right here, watch. The user defender trails here, but then Kiv runs a deep seam down the middle of the field. Hollywood can't get there in time. Dougie Baldwin, he dropped the pass, or he didn't get his feet in bounds yes. earlier yeah. in the game, but he comes up huge here for Kiv. That is a way to take advantage of that sack fumble in this uh, end of this half here. Hollywood will just lay down for safety with 11 seconds to go, and I love myself some Sean Lee. But he doesn't have the wheels of Dougie Baldwin. He most certainly doesn't. And that's where you, you take a look at the top five players, right? You look see guys, how important it is to have guys like Anthony Barr on your roster. That's where that speed, that ability to go run downfield with some of those vertical routes really can come back to haunt you if you don't get a big user player. Second and inches here. Clock stopped with six seconds to go at the 25. And it'll be three man deep and girly. <laughs> that's old school right there. We'll just get... Let's just get to the locker room. That's what Hollywood's thinking. How do you waste the clock in a game of Madden? Yeah, you run, you run at the ball, run backwards, and then fall down. I love it. I love it. You know, it's it's lived up, it's lived up to the hype so far. Young Kiv with a 10 to 7 lead. Let's go to halftime with the guys. All right, thanks, Scott and Gibbs. Appreciate that. Heck of a game right there. It was all Hollywood, all game until pretty much the final 30 seconds. Huge fumble recovery by Young Kiv, and then wow. What a dot. Might be the dot of the day right there, Rico. Absolutely, and we talked about it earlier in pregame. It was going to come down to whoever got the breaks. Young Kiv got the break on that fumble, and he was able to capitalize on it and take the lead into the half. Uh, we have some more action going on, though, folks. Remember, there's another game, Carry Q and Voltrex. Hey, Zach, let's go ahead and take a look at the highlights of that one. Volterax, the international man of mystery, punches it in. David Johnson first for nine yards, then for five more as he took a 7 nothing lead. But Carry... He's balling. He's got good defense. You see with the sack, this led to three for him. And then, of course, he made it 10-7 with this Adrian Peterson touchdown run. However, just before the half, Volt came back down. He had a great drive. Five plays, 71 yards, capped it off. And Volt right there is up 14-10 in the third quarter. Both really good games. We're going to be kicking it to both uh, the entire rest of the day. And speaking of that, speaking of kicking, don't forget about FIFA. Ladies and gentlemen, the biggest FIFA competitive gaming event kicks off Season 2 on April 21st and 22nd. Watch the FUT Championship Series live from Vancouver, Canada. For more info, visit futchampionship.com. And Young Kiv, with a very impressive second quarter finish right there, he's got some advice on airing it out. And if you just saw that play, maybe you should listen to him. Hi, my name's Young Kim. My Madden tip is four verticals. It's in a lot of formation. One formation specifically, it's in wide trips. All you want to do is fade the outside receiver on the trip side, and you can beat cover two down the middle or at the seam. I mean, that's basically what happened right there. <laughs> yes. Actually, Falls and I were talking about it as the game went on. We saw him use that a couple of times, and it's really nice when you get a chance to see all their hard work and lab time pay off on the big stage. Absolutely, and this game is nowhere near finished. This is going to be a great second half, and in fact, do, do not count out Mr. Hollywood. The guy knows how to come back, and in fact, he's on the field right now with Drea. Drea, take it away. Thanks, Tyler. Well, Hollywood, you had the momentum and the strip recovery and then the touchdown on Kiv's side, pulled it back his way. What do you need to do to get it back? Uh, I need to come out of halftime and get seven. And play good defense for the rest, rest of the game. What's the biggest adjustment on the defensive side of the ball that you need to make? Uh, I need to get pressure on him. He's finding ways to pick up the blitz. I need to start switching things up better, better coverages. All right, well, look for the switch up. Let's send it to Scott and Gibbs. Thank you so much, Drea. Well... We got a touchdown. We got we got a, we got a couple touchdowns here. Big touchdown. But what you just heard from Hollywood is the truth right now. What you're seeing from Kiv, he's doing a great job. He's coming out uh, in his uh, uh, offense. He's waiting for the defense to get set up from Hollywood, and he's flipping his formation. That's what's helping him pick up the pressure. It's playing that cat and mouse game with Hollywood, and I absolutely love what I'm seeing from Kiv right now. And it's been the big play, the big long pass to Doug oh, Baldwin. Huge. It was an absolute heartbreaker because I tell you what, Hollywood was in control for, let's say, 99.9% .9 of the half, and then all of a sudden, it's Bombsville. That's why you get an Everson Griffin, right? I mean, <laughs> that, I mean, that's why you get him on your squad. He does the dirty work for you. He made a big play, got the sack fumble, got Kiv into position to make that, that play. So here we go, starting the second half in this top 10 matchup. Hollywood has the ball, and he hands it off to Gurley in a big hit of the 32. 
It's going to be second and eight. Yeah, another dose of uh, Todd Gurley, and why not the way he played in that first half? This is the difference maker right now for Hollywood's offense. Right now, Hollywood's lucky to have the ball first to start the half. Seen so many Madden games. That's so important. And Gurley with some room, and he absolutely runs over Denard there in the back. We spotted at the midfield. Big time run by Gurley. Yeah, and what I think you're going to continue to see here is these interior runs. If Kiv keeps coming out in this uh, spread out defense, this big time 2 3 6, it's called. But you can see these defenders are out wide here in, in the seams, uh, and that's what's giving all these running lanes inside. Gurley not going anywhere on that one. Nice job getting the backfield by Anthony Barr, his third tackle of the game. Yes, yeah, second 11 now, so now you got to start to think about airing it out. Short pass underneath. you got to love your tight end on a quick drag over the middle of the field. Todd Gurley on a quick out pattern. There's a couple nice options. Play action, oh. and here comes the heat. And the man, the former South Carolina Gamecocks, Gilmore, in there with a the sack. Yeah, that was tough right there. With the play action fake, you're not having your halfback be able to get into position to pick up the pressure off that left edge. So uh, good heat right there from Kip. Watch again, pressure here off that edge. He's going to come in there. But that, now that's the adjustment right there from Hollywood. Now keep Gurley in to pick it up. Third and 16, Ocean's Pryor to the right. Picks it up. Has time, throws it underneath. And Pryor fumbles it for a second. Big time hit from Anthony Barr, and lucky to be fourth and six. Anthony Barr, big time hit right here. Completion over the middle of the field, delivers it. But right there, user defender, you can see these clicked onto him. Those of you at home, if you want to get hit sticks, flick the right stick down, hit stick city. Andrew Luck, a little Hollywood luck there. Fourth and six, oh. and, and it's a lurk by Anthony Barr. And let's be honest. He can do it all. And we talked about it at the top of the show. That one of the five players, Anthony Barr, he's the user defender. Watch, stay underneath, get big. The reason why he's the best user defender in the game, he's six foot five. Very athletic. The difference maker right now for Kiv's defense. Well, Uncle Mo is now staying at young Kiv's house because he has taken over this game. He's got a three-point lead, and he works it down to the 48-yard line. And a quick pass out of the uh, to your, your tight end to the right side of the field there. Scamper down. Cook, a lot of speed at the tight end position. That corner strike, though. Oh, how many times have you been hit by that this year? Me a million. First and ten, and has the man wide open over the middle of the field. You might have heard of him. His name's Jerry Rice. Man, Kib is starting to put together a couple drives here. Offense looking good. Defense looking good. Hollywood would better watch out here. This just in from the producer. He says Jerry Rice is good. 36-yard <laughs> line, first and 10. And Derrick Henry works it to the 34. Three carries for 10 yards. Take a look at some of the passing yards right now. Young kid bucked 64 through the air compared to Hollywood's 108 yards. So you saw Hollywood controlling the, the game with the run game. But we know Kiv, he's a big-time passer. Aaron Rodgers rolling to the left. Got to get rid of it. Has a man. And there is the GOAT. Jerry Rice down to the four. You know, and, and we said for, for Kiv, all top five of his players are starting to make a play. Look at this rollout and throw an absolute dime down that left sideline. Jerry Rice toe taps. He gets his feet inbound, Mr. Doug Baldwin. I've asked you this question five times now. <laughs> Jerry Rice played at... <laughs> Don't kill me, Smalls. Oh, man. I'm not a college guy. I'm not Mississippi a guy. Valley State and Derrick Henry right. gets lit up at the two. Derrick Henry played for him. Alabama. Oh, on. that's too easy. That's that too way easy. too easy. Aaron Rodgers played for him. Cal. Or you, you bro. I don't you, think you I need to step off. Stick to the cop salad. <laughs> Ball the two yard Get line. Tonight. Second and goal. Boy, Hollywood really needs a defensive stance here. And Rodgers will try to sneak it. And maybe he got three inches. Yeah, and quarterback sneak, that's usually the move here. But what these players, they're coming into these tournaments and they're prepared for that. You come out of goal line set for those watching at home. You pinch your defensive line. You condense it right here. All these defenders, see how close and, and tight they are? That's how you stop the sneak. Rodgers got to get rid of it. And there is Henry. And he will walk in. Oh. Huge play by Kiv. Absolutely easy pickings for Kiv right there. Here's what happens. It's called academic game theory. You ready for this right here? When you have a defeated strategy, Scott, the entire middle of the field pinched, a run commit, you're anticipating the quarterback sneak, 
you don't run the quarterback sneak. You got to go opposite strategy. He dumps the ball off to the halfback in the flat. Big time touchdown. Now Hollywood trailing by 10. He's got to get it going here. We got a 10 point game here. What's going on, on the side stage, Zach? Everything is going on over here, Scott. Kerry got a pick with Shed, and then he drives down, kicks a field goal. He leads right now 16 14 over his opponent, Volt. But Volt is now entering the red zone as the fourth quarter starts. Well, he got a good one over there. Gurley will catch the check down four yards. Worth mentioning again, this is number eight Hollywood trailing by 10 to number nine Young Kiv. Top 10 matchup to start Group D. Not only just a top 10 matchup, but I mean, we're talking about two players that uh, have been on this big stage before. Kiv has been uh, the past four oh, yeah. big events. So familiar territory, Hollywood at the Madden Bowl. So both these guys used to these situations. Third and three. Let's go. Can't get rid of it, Luck. Fourth and three, and my friend, this is huge. This is the spot you're trying to get to stop in. We said Kiv has only let up seven points in his previous three games in the Madden Challenge online group stage. Only seven points here in this game. If he wins this game, how many kids are going out and buying that jacket? They might be dying their hair long. <laughs> Fourth and three, oh. and McCaffrey, no sir. And his defense right now, it, I mean, everybody better be on notice. Young kid yeah. is looking like someone that has come here to win the belt. Not just the cash, but his offense is looking great. His defense is looking even better. In his last four games, he's only given up 14 points. That includes this one. It's, I mean, it's really just unbelievable. It, and it just shows that his, his growth as a Madden player. It, it, I literally called him this past weekend just to have a conversation with him coming into the tournament. I felt looking at him, he was on a hot streak uh, coming into this tournament. But he's a man ready to, to take this thing down. Absolutely. Throw up your fours. We're in the fourth quarter here in the Madden Challenge. Group D, opening game of Group D. It's a top ten matchup. And number nine, Kiv, going back to work. Scott Cole, Stephen Gibbs with you here from Los Angeles. Yeah, this game really been a story of young Kiv, his ability to dominate on both sides of the ball. Hollywood not really been able to move the ball uh, offensively, defensively, hasn't really been able to stop Kiv passing. And it's dipping and dotting all over the field down to the 19. Take a look at that. 10 for 12, 217, two touchdowns right now. Aaron Rodgers. And, and really, it, it's coming down to those top five players. They're all performing at a high level for him. Aaron Rodgers, uh, Everson Griffin, Derrick Henry's playing well. They also got Jerry Rice playing very well for Kiv right now. So first and 10 from the 19. He's in the red zone, leading by 10 points over Hollywood. And of course, we're playing draft champions. That's how you're going to get all these guys on your roster. And a little delayed handoff to Henry. And he's going to lose a yard. Eric Henry, don't say that very often about him. He's a guy that can usually get to the line of scrimmage, fall forward for you. If you're Kiv here, you're thinking field goal here. Stretch this lead out here as the late closing minutes of the fourth. Second and 11. Has time. Why not? Getting sneaky with it out of the backfield and slides down to the 13. Taking a page out of the youth movement right there. A little stick work from Kiv. Shout out to his boy, True Boy, right there. A little stick work. Aaron Rodgers evading the defenders. Third and short now. That's a great thing for his offense here. We had Mills and True Boy move on from C. Gonna be a good, good single elimination starting tomorrow. And we got a delay of game? That's a that's a tough and Hollywood is, is gonna take the take the five yard penalty there. You saw Mills in that last game. He showed that sportsmanship with Hollywood. He's coming for the victory. Third and eight. You're down ten. You gotta get a little savage here. Good pressure. Throws a high point and Doug Baldwin. I need to text him after this. He's absolutely just killing. Doug Baldwin is having a day right now. He started off slow, didn't get his feet inbound. But on that play, what you saw there. You had the deep seam wide open. You get the ball up high. Look, he brings the safety up, and when he brings the safety up, there's no one else in the back of this end zone to help make a play. Great recognition there by Kiv, getting the ball up to Baldwin, back in the end zone for six. You, know, you start pressing, you start bringing guys down in the box, looking to make a play. Next thing you know, whoop. Yeah, and we saw it. I mean, remember remember the game uh, yesterday, Boogs, walk-off victory, where he dunked it over the top of uh, Shugs. I mean, when you don't protect the deep part of the field, 
Cause problems for you. Yes, I remember the one touchdown we <laughs> called yesterday. 24 to 7. It's a situation right now in Hollywood. Needs a little of that magic. Yeah, and, and for Hollywood, down uh, this many scores here, it's it's starting to get to a uh, point of, okay, we're going to start playing for points here. We know uh, this is a group stage. Every point matters. So we put together a drive here, get a field goal, get a touchdown. Yeah, great point, partner. And here's a blitz. And right now, Kim is absolutely f feeling it. Big time lead in this one. What's going on with your game? Scott Volt was in the red zone and he threw a pick. He only needed three. Carey turned it right around on him and ran it up the middle. He leads him 23 14. Appreciate that, Farrells. Third and 14. Gurley was absolutely nowhere. And with 2.25 to go, it does not look good, my friend. Yeah, he thrown late to the flat once again right there. Not able to pick up yards. Fourth and 11. He needs to. Look for an Ed McCaffrey right about here. He's going to run that deep post in the middle of the field there. Watch for him making a play there. So fourth and 11, right before the two-minute warning. And they find Terrell Pryor, and he'll get to the 38. And that will be the two-minute warning. So this is a... Uh, Tall mountain to climb if you're Hollywood. Well, well it is, and you got to remember, this is a guy that he, he transitioned his offense, he transitioned his defense heading into draft champions uh, from the Madden Bowl, so he he's, says he feels very comfortable with his new offense and defense, but are we starting to see uh, signs that, okay, maybe he's not as familiar as he thought he was, or, well, or are we just seeing young Kiv just playing on another level right now? I think most of it's Kiv yeah. at this point, <laughs> but I'll be ball. honest. Hollywood's offense and defense, I, I'm not comfortable. That, that be absolutely wide open. I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you hate that? You hate yeah. that when you're playing? Yeah. Uh, bro, B was wide open. Well, then the problem is your next play, you're like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw him the ball. No, it never works. No, your no, opponent's always ready for it. He's never open. Third and three. Gurley trying to fight his way forward. And here comes a big fourth and two. You know, if you're Kiv and you're, you're thinking of the way you played def defense in this game is you really gave the run. To, to Hollywood, but that the, the pass is only giving him underneath options in this game. So, a great way to play defense in this one against Hollywood. 90 seconds to go. Andrew Luck on a big fourth down. Block shed, able to get it to Pryor, though. And Pryor will move the chains at the 41, and here comes the hurry up offense. Yeah, get the field goal range here. You're about 10 yards away to feel comfortable. You mentioned how much points. Points is huge. And gets it to Gurley. If he could make this a ten, even a ten-point game, it would feel a lot better. I mean, crazier things could have happened with, with the number. He's got all three of his timeouts, so mm -hmm. you can get in the end zone quick now. High snap, throws it. Beautiful pass down to Golden Tate, and there's one of the touchdowns he needs. Yeah, beautiful execution right there. Post over the middle of the field. He hung in the pocket. Pressure was collapsing the pocket. Delivers the absolute strike, and this is the formula. You have three timeouts. You scored very quickly. You can see play fake. Post runs over the middle of the field just inside the deep safety. Hangs on to it for six. Now a 10-point game. He's going to kick deep now. Now play some defense and lock up. It checks up, and he's not sure what to do with it, so he's going to have to take it out. To the seven yard line. It's getting a little interesting in this one. What's going on with your game, Zach? Scott, super interesting over here. Kerry Q had the win, and Adrian Peterson put a cherry on top. He went for two. He's all over Volt right now. 31 14 in the fourth. Wow, looking good. Kerry Q. Watch this. Both safeties up in here for run support. Hands it to Henry. Sean Lee gets a hit on him. He'll have to use his first timeout, second and 11. I love the aggressive nature right, right here from Hollywood, but if you're Kiv, recognize that. If he brings the safeties up again, you got to potentially take a shot downfield. Shadow of his own end zone. Another high snap. And that actually worked out in his favor. Normally it doesn't on a delay, but that time the hole opened up. And that, my friends, is a first down. Yeah, Those that, are the words Hollywood does not want to hear. That's the difference right there with, with a guy like Derrick Henry. You put him in your top five for a reason. And, and when it comes down to it, you look at this game, the impressive performance from Kiv, you see those top five players, and every single one of them showed up, and they did, they performed at a high level for Kiv, especially Aaron Rodgers. That throw, he rolled out of the pocket, delivered the absolute strike down that left sideline to Jerry Rice. I mean, this guy's playing great right now. That's my favorite formation, the victory formation. 
And number nine, Kiv, will beat Hollywood in this one, who's number eight in the world. These guys are, let's be honest, they're, they're becoming household names, not only in the Madden community, but those that uh, tune in every time we're here in oh, Los they're Angeles. Here. They're always here. Kiv also made it out to the yeah. Seattle uh, Seahawks Club Series, lost in the finals there to Killer Mike. So, you know, he's thinking about that. He wants to win the belt here. Maybe there's a jacket that Well, he looks good. I, I got to go get me a jacket. If, if that if that's what makes it happen, tell me where I need to go to Trey is pop one of those. I know. So where did he get I that jacket? I need the jacket? scoop. I need the scoop. I need that jacket. <laughs> I, would, I don't know. Would I look good in it? You, I mean, maybe. No, I would look terrible. Uh, yeah. I, I, I can barely dress I myself as it is. What was the key to that one for, for Kiv? Kiv's ability to to pick up the pressure that you saw Hollywood say at, at the halftime interview with Drea, Hollywood had mentioned, well, Kiv's been able to pick up my pressures. I have to make the adjustments to counter what he's doing. He couldn't do it in the second half. He was never able to get Kiv uncomfortable, and Kiv just dominated offensively. Yeah, really after that bomb to Baldwin. Oh, my goodness. And then beautiful. the turnover to start the second half. It was, all, it was all young Kiv the rest of the way. Let's kick it down to Drea. Thanks, Scott. Well, Kiv, the game really stepped up for you from the end of the second all the way through the rest of the game. What changed? Um, I just got some breaks, and then I made a couple adjustments on offense. I saw what he was doing a little bit, and I ran the ball a couple times, and uh, I guess I just adjusted well. Hollywood is a good friend of yours. This was a top 10 matchup, a great rivalry. What do you think of this between you guys that's brewing? It has kind of the makings of maybe a young little dubby skimbo kind of a thing. Uh, I don't know. We don't trash talk, but I guess a little bit if we see another, uh, another matchup, I guess. I have to ask you about this jacket. All the guys were talking about it, the little jungle tiger theme. Did this give you luck today? What's up with this jacket? What's the style? What are we, what's the stilo right now? I just got it over the weekend and thought it was cool. That's why, basically. Well, Scott wants one now. So you made it fashionable. You made it hip. So now it's lit. Scott wants one. What do you want to say to Scott about this jacket? Uh, He's going to get one. So you guys can be twins now. If I win this tournament, I'll give this one to Scott. Whoa! I love it. Let's send it to Tyler and the guys. All right. Thanks, Trey. I appreciate it.